Oh man, welcome back to another show of Kicks and Sticks Podcast. I am your host, Chris Johnson, and today's special today's show we'll be going over a few things. Um, we'll be going over some sneaker news and some gaming news. Um, for warning, the sneaker news is kind of light today. So, with that being said, let's get into the show. First topic um, is Call of Duty wrong for sending the cease and desist to SM2 and X Labs? Um, quick answer is no. Um, why I gave the answer no is because it's Activision's game. Why are we holding them accountable? Or why is Call of Duty not able to hold somebody accountable for um, using their own, you know, their, their own copyrighted material? Everyone who's on side of the actual um those those creators of the of SM2 and X Labs, it's cool for you to have that opinion. But just think of it like this: if somebody came and took something of yours and started making money, well, even if they weren't making money from, but trying to make it better, um, you may not feel the same way. You may not want to be to let someone else, you know, benefit from your 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 pro- whatever it was, project, game, um, whatever. Um, just think of it like this. These businesses can get an upstart basically off of what Call of Duty has previously done. And that's not right. So I personally feel that Call of Duty or Activision isn't a right for sending cease and desist to whoever they want to send it to. It's their game. So for those people on you on YouTube, on the internet, on Twitter, wherever you're at, and you're feeling like, hey, Call of Duty or Activision is wrong for this. You got to think of it and be real with yourself. If someone was stealing your stuff, you would be upset about that. But, man, that's it about that. But um, I'm going to go into this next topic. We're going to go into um, some old school news. Um, It's nothing really major, but um, you... um, (laughs) I don't know why I said that, but Amazon is selling the original Sega, um, Sega Genesis for $99 and like 98 cents, something like that. But it comes with 60 plus games. It's not, again, it's just gaming news, just some stuff for you guys to think on. Something that you all can just, you know, if you wanted an old school uh, Sega Genesis, you could definitely get one on Amazon for just under $100. That can also be a gift for your your sibling, your elder siblings. Or if you want to get some kids something, to, like if you, you don't want to be playing on your Xbox, Get them a Sega. They'll be fine if they're young enough. You know, back in the day, we would give kids just a controller that wasn't plugged in. And they was happy with that. But if you think about it now, these kids are up on it. So you want to just give them something that's a distraction regard. Um around it, it you know, you can't give them the same thing that we used to give the kids where you're just giving them the controller so. I don't know. That'll just be a cheap thing that you can just buy. And even for you guys that just want to be nostalgic based and just want to play an old game, that's it for you. So that's that. Um, But um, rolling into the next topic, we are going to talk about last week's um, previous sneakers, uh, like pretty sneaker releases from um, last week. (laughs) So... (laughs) <laughs> we're going into last week's um, sneaker releases that um, that that were pretty big enough to where it took well I took a notice to. So the first sneaker that I'm going to talk about is the Jaw One, um, the Jaw One Hunger, aka the Blood and Crip. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, the screen, the, the picture should be up here. One sneaker is red, one sneaker is blue. Please do not wear this sneaker in LA. I saw that online. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but the sneaker released uh, earlier this week um, for $110 and they sold out immediately. Um, for what reason? I don't know. It was an ugly sneaker in my opinion. But, I mean, for to each their own. Um, next up, we are going to go with the Air Jordan 1 Zoom CMFT. Two times t- um, Tiana Taylor, which also sold out. And that was also a sneakers um, sneakers app sell. It almost reminded me of a Travis Scott with the backward swoosh, the big backward swoosh. Um, and it actually looked pretty good. It looked like a Chicago. It has her name in there, you know, in, on the tongue, uh, Tay, Tay Tay or something like that. Um, no disrespect, but it has that on there. But um, as far as everything else with the sneaker, it's the snitch. Um, 
stitching and all, like a big black stitching. The sneaker is actually pretty good. Um, it's a women's exclusive. And for all you ladies that definitely like, well, like a um, low costing, um, Travis Scott-esque Jordan 1, this is where you can go. But that's that. Next shoe we're going into is the Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo, which released on the 24th, totaling $200, um, which you can still find these on the Sneakers app. Um, there are still copies. Speaking of which, there you go. We have the shoe right here. Focus in. Um, the shoe is, is, is really nice. So I tell you guys, if you want a nice red shoe, black and red shoe that can pretty much like, you know, black jeans. Just think about it. Anytime you put these on, whoo, these joints are going to turn heads. So I would definitely advise you to um, check out that sneaker if you still want it. There are still pairs listed on the sneakers app. So definitely check it out. Um, but the next shoe we're going to go into, and that released yesterday, it was a re-release for the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green, um, which is another fire shoe. I love these joints. They are just so tough, man. You can, I mean, the, the pine green color is cool, but the tongue with the red, like the comfort of the shoe, like when I tell you this shoe is so comfy, and I've only wore it like once, maybe twice, um, but yeah, this shoe is so comfy. Still smells fresh. Um, yes, I have, it's my feet. I've been in there. So, yes, man, that's that shoe, man. Please. Um, they sold out too, so you, there ain't nothing else you can do about that. But um, in, regard, in, in, in um, reference to all the other shoes, um, there is the Jordan 14s coming out tomorrow. The I think there are the Flints, but they're coming out tomorrow. Um, I think they're two, 200 or 210. Um, I won't be picking those up. That's, oh, no, it's not. It's the uh, Jordan 14 Laney. Sorry, not Flint. Laney. So um, if you did want those sneakers, they are, you know, 10 o'clock tomorrow on the sneakers app. You will be able to pick them up. And the price for them is 210 So again, if you wanted to pick them up, tomorrow is your day. You will be able to pick them up and you'll be able to move on from there. You'll be able to have your shoe. Um, but... Um, again, uh, future shoes coming, um, after that, I just wanted to just detail this sneaker because it's going to be released in 2014, but I could see these be, being, you know, being a big thing possibly. Um, there was the Jordan one electric green, which was, uh, that was, was like, you know, just ugly, but the Jordan one OG yellow okra black will be a problem next year in 2024 um the price will be likely set at 180 but this sneaker is tough this is one of those sneakers that i feel will be a problem um it'll probably sell out and you'll have all the sneaker sellers trying to pick these up just for so they can um get the get the uh reap the benefits from um selling these sneakers but that's it for sneaker news for this week. I just wanted to just touch on those really quick before I go into my last topic. <clears throat> GTA 6 will be charging the customers, the consumers, $500 for the game. $500 for the game, which is insane. This is insane. Um, that's why I say I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know what type of game it's going to be. Like I know it's going to be along the same lines of call uh, of, of of GTA, but for five hundred dollars, if you're taking over a billion and some change to make this game, and you're charging people five hundred dollars for a game, this game better be doing everything. Such as it better be paying me or give me the option to make money from the game. Um, so with that being said, um, please, um, I don't know what to say about this, but um, to each their own, people will buy it. Um, it may be one of them things where it may be few people to buy and eventually people will save it up. But um, to have a game like this, it has to have a lot of, you know, different aspects to the game. Um, besides just stealing cars and completing missions. Um, and the online service better be on point when it's released. Um, it better have other mini games that's to it that gotta be perfect. 
Are they adding Red Dead like a segment to it? I don't know. I'm I'm just throwing stuff out there. It has to have um a different things. It may it hopefully it's something because um although the the this this generation of games is like we're like in the middle of this um the the, the this generation we um I'm hoping that whatever this five hundred dollar copy will be it will be transferable to other generations because um gaming console generations because this has to just you know travel with you you can't nobody's gonna want to spend five hundred dollars for a game where the once the um once this generation comes to an end, you can't take it to the next one. This has to be the, you know, it has to be the end all for this. It has to be a game that should last us just like this one for over 10 plus years. Um, but with that being said, man, I appreciate everybody for listening. Um, Memorial Day is on Monday. Um, Today is Friday. I hope everybody enjoy their weekend. Stay safe out there. You know, stay on your P's and Q's as it's a lot of, you know, crazy, um, weird people out there, I'll say. But with that being stop, <laughs> with that being said, stay on top of your game, whether that's your sneaker game or your video game. See y'all next time.